temperature pools. But it's actually pretty funny looking back on it. They were absolutely frantic, looking for me all over, until finally they saw my head slowly poke out from under the water. I was too young to remember the whole ordeal, but my parents told me all about it. A natural born swimmer, my mother called me. Just like her, I taught myself how to dive underwater the first time I ever went swimming. Wake up! Mualani? What's going on? Uh, where did all these monsters come from? It's the abyss. Our patrols are trying to drive them back as we speak. Come with me. I'll take you somewhere safe. Uh, Mualani! A little help over here. We can't hold them back much longer. One moment. I'll be right there. Really? That's perfect. I've been waiting for the chance to fight by your side. Hang in there! We're here to help! Hands with the weight! Why now? Uh, hi? What's with all the noise? Traveler, Paimon, wake up! Mualani? What's going on? Uh, where did all these monsters come from? It's the Abyss. Our patrols are trying to drive them back as we speak. Come with me. I'll take you somewhere safe. Uh, Mualani, a little help over here. We can't hold them back much longer. One moment. I'll be right there. Really? That's perfect. I've been waiting for the chance to fight by your side. Hang in there. We're here to help. Need a surfboard? I almost died. most of the monsters over here. Thanks for your help. It would have taken me ages on my own. Looks like we're still in for a long night, though. We still have no idea where these creatures are coming from. Let's go ask Amina. She'll have a better handle on the situation. Surfboard? 
Amina! Oh, it's you three. Thank you for helping clear out those monsters. We were prepared for an attack, but we didn't have enough people to prevent them from breaking through our defenses. No casualties so far, though. Where'd they come from this time? The east side. We've pinpointed the position of an abyssal pylon, but we don't have enough manpower to take it down. An abyssal pylon? What's that? A kind of gate created by the abyss. One that allows monsters from the Night Kingdom to enter the physical world. The only way to end the attack is to destroy the pylon as soon as possible. Otherwise, the endless hordes of monsters will exhaust our defenses. Exactly. That's what I'm most concerned about. Their numbers suggest there might even be multiple pylons in the area. We're searching for them as we speak. All right, we'll go seal off the one to the east. Traveler, Paimon, can I count on your help again? Of course! We can't just sit back and do nothing. On behalf of the people of the Springs, you have my thanks. We're counting on you. Let's go. There's no time to lose. Take care, Amina. That's it, all right. Come on, let's get rid of this thing. see any more monsters so looks like we're in the clear do these attacks happen a lot must be hard on your tribe yeah it makes things hard sometimes but that's how our ancestors have always lived besides the abyss doesn't care how difficult our lives are fighting back is the only option come on we should head back huh what are you looking at is there something over there you're right! Mualani, look! They're coming from that direction! Wait, that area looks kind of familiar! What? How unlucky can we get? We just finished the renovations. We probably don't have any reinforcements over there, so it's up to us. Let's move! Huh? Seems like the monsters are decreasing in number. Come on, 
everyone. Keep it up. Off we go. Need a surfboard? Off we go. Dance is for you. Taya, what are you doing here? Where's the pylon? <laughs> Where do you think? If I'm here, means that thing is long gone. I was in a hurry, so it's not my best work. <laughs> you should check if all the important stuff is still here. Stop talking for now. That wound looks bad. The abyssal power is corroding your body. Is this the right area? Hello? Anyone there? <sighs> Mulani and Atea, what's going on? We were told the second pylon was over here. Atea took care of it, but she's injured. Quick, someone get a doctor. Yeah, all right, all right, stop fussing. Don't you think I know my own limits? The main thing is they didn't destroy anything. This is a beautiful hot spring, by the way. I can tell how much work you put into it. Wait, no. This was meant to be a surprise. <laughs> For me, right? Atea! You think I couldn't tell you were avoiding me on purpose? Not one of you stopped to say hello today. It couldn't be more obvious that you were hiding something. And you, Mualani, were you the one that brought the snacks? How many times have I told you you have to choose them based on the temperature of the water? Oh, forget about that. The doctor's almost here, and you're gonna get all better. Then we can have a meal together, and I'll help you make whatever you want, okay? The impurities and the elemental energy we embody repel each other. What? The crystal has been purified? When? The anguish he feels has brought him to tears. I also came across a teardrop crystal. Can you purify it? Atea! Atea! Wait, what do you mean? Oh, what is this? Some sort of purification? The abyssal power, it's being cleansed <laughs> away! How can that be? I never knew that was even possible. Uh, 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 Atea! Uh, the Mark of the Abyss. It's gone. Yes, thanks to the Traveler. By the way, Traveler, are you alright? I just saw you purify Abyssal power from Atea's body. That didn't injure you in any way, did it? You're sure? <laughs> Good. Good. Oh, thank goodness. You scared us all half to death just now. All right, everyone, head back and get some rest. We'll meet here tomorrow. 
We'll celebrate Atea's recovery, and most importantly, we'll show the Traveler and Paimon how grateful we are for their aid. Let's make it an occasion to remember. Dismissed! Got it! Got any other secret powers I should know about? <laughs> oh, but seriously, you really came <clears throat> through for us tonight, so thank you. Paimon almost forgot you had that ability. You used to back in Mondstadt to cleanse Devalin's tears, didn't you? That was some quick thinking, Traveler. Huh? You look like something's bothering you. What's wrong? Abyssal power still exists within her body. Immersing herself in hot water would accelerate the corrosion of her internal organs and the progression of her illness. We think Auntie Atea's illness has taken a turn for the better. <laughs> uh, she could never come into contact with hot water before, and now she's visiting the hot springs every night. I mean, it's pretty obvious what that means, right? Hello? Traveler? Maybe you can zone out some other time because Paimon can barely keep her eyes open. Not interested in hanging out with the other kids? Snacks not to your taste? Hot spring temperature too high? None of the above, huh? I heard you were the one who cleansed the abyssal power yesterday. <sighs> I was hoping to keep it a secret for a few more days. Didn't want to ruin the celebrations and all. <sighs> but looks like it was no use. Hey, kid! Who, me? Yes, you. Come on. Let's go for a walk. Hey, uh, where are you going? Did something happen? I'm just going to get some air. It's too noisy in here. You have fun. We'll be right back. Oh, and there are extra snacks in that box over there. They need replenishing. Bake them all fresh this morning. All right. Sounds great. Mulalani. Yeah? <laughs> You've gotten so tall. You know that. Feels like just yesterday you were that rambunctious kid causing trouble all around the hot springs. <laughs> it's like all that time passed in the blink of an eye. Tell me, how are your parents? They're away on business. Seriously, Ateo, what's going on? You're acting strange. Traveler, did something happen? 
Both of you seem a little off today. I guess I should explain. I wasn't visiting the hot springs because I was getting better. And that pylon yesterday, I didn't go face it by myself because I was reckless or too anxious to wait for reinforcements. It's because my body isn't going to last much longer. Your friends saved my life in that cave. And because of that, I got to enjoy this celebration with you all. But I'm just a few days shy of the end. The hot springs... I'm just trying to enjoy them for as long as I have left. Oh. Mualani? That better not happen again, whether I'm here to catch you or not. That's what you said back at the artificial spring. I... I had a bad feeling then, but I didn't want it to be true. I... wanted to believe you were actually recovering. You want to know something? Recovery, death, to me, the two aren't all that different. Both are worth celebrating. <laughs> You've never been resurrected, so you might not understand. But death and I? We're old pals by now. There's nothing sad about being reunited with an old friend. <sighs> I lived with regret for a long time. Regret that my illness meant I could no longer take to the front lines, especially as our nation slid deeper into crisis. But yesterday, I was finally able to let go of that regret. Not only because I found the strength to fight the abyss, even at the end of my life, but because I got to see you in action, Mualani. Seeing you out there... <laughs> It made me realize that I don't need to worry about our tribe or our nation's future. You have the capacity to bring us all together. Even if I was never injured, old age would still take me one day. <clears throat> but I've done what I needed to do. The future is in your hands now. Just remember, whether in life or death, I am always with you. I understand. Seems like you've given this a lot of thought, Atea. Thank you for telling me all this. I'll do everything in my power to protect our tribe, our nation, and live up to the example you set for me. Good. Oh. And if any of you have the chance to meet with the Archon, could you give this to her for me? A talisman I've carried with me my whole life. It may seem strange to say while I'm still alive, but just think of it as a relic I'm leaving for her. It's brought me good fortune in battle. Even after I became too sick to fight, I never took it off. Just tell her... It embodies fond memories and my strength of will. <laughs> She'll know what I'm trying to say. Don't worry. We'll make sure she gets it. <sighs> all right. That's all I wanted to say. Let's head back to the party. No use spending what little time I have left being sad. <clears throat> Traveler, Atea, Mulani! If you don't hurry up, there won't be any snacks left! Excuse me, what did I say about bathing in the hot springs on a full stomach? Uh, hey, are you listening to me? Life is a journey in which there's no turning back. So forge ahead and don't hold back.